Ten CDs. One hundred dollars. Three days, two nights. People say that traveling is expensive, but we're going to prove that it's not. We'll be spending three days, two nights across different cities in Asia, all on a hundred dollar budget. This will include food, activities, and lodging. This is the hundred dollar nomad. I'm Zin and I'm currently in the Philippines. I'll be heading over to Zambales, a popular beach destination. And here's the thing, I will be on a hundred Singapore dollar budget. And to make it even more difficult, the producers have came up with a list of challenges for me to compete in order to call myself the hundred dollar nomad. So I can't wait to head to the beach in Zambales. Let's go! Oh, I get put inside. <laughs> it's a VIP van. Yeah. Only rock stars rent this kind of van. So we have Nick, Hello. we have Julian, and we have Ellie. Hi. Where are you? <laughs> okay, so for this trip, aside uh, from the $100 budget, <laughs> we have also prepared a checklist of challenges for you. Do you want to take a look? Uh, we have packed in your, um, your focus <laughs> into this challenge. That doesn't sound very, <laughs> very, very <laughs> convincing. <laughs> Here are the challenges. Do something I never dare to do. Two, catch and cook a fish. Order a full meal for the entire crew in Tagalog. Learn to surf and ride away for five seconds. And as usual, the last challenge is a self-issued challenge. Filipinos can sing, so I'm going to try to sing with them and we'll see how that goes. We just arrived at the hostel, but it's flooded. Right now, I'm outside the hostel which I have booked online. It is called The Circle because I've heard it is really cool and really affordable. So let's go and check in. So our rate is 500 per night. So how many nights do you plan to stay? I'll be here for three days, two nights. That's going to be 1,000. Let me show you your spot. Oh, it is not super to there. Right. Everything smells very really nice. nice. Nicely laundered. Okay, so this is where I'll be staying. Can we go get some lunch? Oh yeah, let's go get lunch. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> It feels very surreal that I'm actually walking on the streets of Zambales. Okay, we are now going to the San Felipe Public Market. He keeps telling me to budget, budget, budget. But I have to lah because I want to be a hundred dollar nomad. Nomad is no match, no whatever. <laughs> wow, this one looks good cool, eh. How much is this? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Mmm! It's like banana with like brown sugar coating. And it's so good. Let me have a taste of home. Oh my... So we are now at this particular eatery in the market itself. I'm actually having the curry chicken with the rice. It costs 60 pesos. Mm. Actually, I don't even know why I eat. I'm eating. Don't no, no need to know. Because Julian just picked <laughs> everything. Can you try this for me first? It looks good. Uh. The sauce looks very dubious. <laughs> How does it taste? I will tell you what, what it is. I think it's not bad. Uh. It's actually uh, pig testicles. Huh? What is this? I don't know how to swallow now. It's a uh, pig blood stew. Oh! If it was testicle, I didn't know how to express <laughs> that I like pig testicles. <laughs> what do you call the offspring of uh, Pinoy and Chinese? Them chow di We are Chinoy. <laughs> Pick test, pick testicle, then eat balut. <laughs> I am genuinely concerned. Eh. <laughs> For the juice coming out. Okay, remove the shell from top. Yeah, I thought you were hosting this episode. Yeah, can, I, like... can, I, can I smell? Mmm, yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> shaking. Eh. <laughs> But the must eat the thing right now. Okay, give me my hope. I don't see, I don't see! I'm so 
the you said what? The bird. Okay, one, <laughs> two, three bites. Oh, come on. Uh, how do we eat? Yeah. Oh my <laughs> god. It's just like a very strong egg taste. But it's actually okay. The balloon. Congrats, guys! You're yeah. Currently, I'm back in the hostel and I'm chilling at the common area. And then I actually saw that there are a few guys behind me singing and playing guitar. And I thought maybe I could actually clear one of my checklists, which is the last one: sing and jam a song with the locals. <laughs> Because I'm first time in Philippines and they gave me a challenge. Do you think we could do a song together? Okay, what song do you know? Uh, do you know the script? Okay. The, the script, Man Who Can't Be Moved? Okay. Yes. Oh, I'll play that. Oh, yes. You have to take out my shit. You say it, you don't take out. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, there you go. Back to the corner, first saw you. Okay, so for today, all I spent on was accommodation, 500 peso, food, lunch, 60 peso, banana Q snack, 20 peso, and some snacks that I actually bought, which I didn't even record and didn't realize until the producer said, like, hey Zane, you better record that. And that was 50 pesos. So I actually spent about 630 pesos. But definitely the highlight of today, the entire hanging out of the locals in the hostel. The locals here were so welcoming to a point whereby like it made it easier for me to complete the challenge, but at the same time make some new friends along the way. But for now, I am gonna go back to sleep because I have a long day tomorrow and I can't wait to experience it because Zambales, you have been awesome. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. To me, that the bar soap he passed to me in the morning to shower was a random person's bar soap in the toilet. Hi guys, good morning. I'm actually at Mummy Phoebe's. This is one of the, like, the more popular places in Zambales to have food. Morning, yeah, today. I mean, this is not all mine. I actually just bought the fried rice with chicken as well as seaweed with veggie. Cost. 220 pesos. Meanwhile, we have sweet and sour tuna, seaweed vegetable, pork belly, adobo flakes, macaroni soup, chocolate, banana shake. We yeah. spent a total of 790 pesos. I'm gonna try my coffee. Okay, sip, sip. Okay, <laughs> can, no, can no. Okay, but I'm gonna eat now because I'm really, really hungry and there are a lot of flies, so mm. I'm just gonna continue eating. What are you guys doing? We've got flies and mosquito. Because the food too nice. Let's go, okay. Hi guys, right now 
we are at Punta Kid Beach and the thing is for here we are going to do some island hopping and surfing hopefully the price for a boat is about 3000 pesos so let's go <laughs> Every single island or place we go to, you just like touch cats eh? She like lack love. Is it like you? Maybe. Eh? <laughs> I forgot the drone. You forgot the drone? Yeah. Sorry guys. I think I'm just gonna go hey, back. Come island walk. How do you go back? Yeah. Use the boat or just swim back? Some people stand in the darkness Afraid to step into the light Some people Back. Where's the drone? Uh, here. Are you sorry for your mistake? Yeah. The thing I love about this particular island is that you know how the popular beach destination like Phuket, La, Bali, they're full of tourists. Here you have the entire island to yourself. Pro tip time. So when you're going island hopping, be sure to bring extra like clothes. Just in case you find an insta-worthy place to take a photo, you can just change out. So I have my bandana here, my singlet and my shorts, which I'm going to change out to right now. <laughs> this is your insta worthy clothes. It says tectonic eh. <laughs> Tec here's my school shirt la. Your protein is tectonic. Okay, so I've changed out into my insta worthy clothes for the beach. Which is mine by the way. And I'm gonna go for my shoot right now. <laughs> Okay, there's a little bit of a blunder on my end because there is a caretaker of the island basically and he wanted us to pay 70 pesos per person because he said that it is a private island. So just be sure to bring extra cash lah. But for me because I'm on a budget so it's a little bit tight on me lah. <laughs> Okay, right now we are at Anawangin Cove, but the thing is, the boatman said that we cannot dock, unfortunately, because the waves are too strong. So we're not going to take the race, but instead, we are going straight to Kapones Island, where I heard there is a famous lighthouse. So let's just go for it. Tip time! Please bring the right equipment to hike up to the lighthouse. As for now, I can't tell, but the lighthouse is just right there. It is so majestic, it is bigger than I ever expected it to be. I did some research on the lighthouse at Kapones. Uh, apparently, there are a lot of like paranormal activity going like on that? here. So, so far, I think it's okay, it's not too bad. I can't wait to see what the view is gonna be from the lighthouse. So, let's go! So I am done with island hopping for the day. Unfortunately, the tide is too high for me to serve. So I will try to come back here again tomorrow. But for now, I'm just going to head back and have dinner and see if I can actually get a local to come and have dinner with me and the team. Okay, so this is a friend that I was talking about and his name is Richard. Okay, I have this list of challenges which I am supposed to fulfill. So one of them is to order a full meal for the entire crew in Tagalog. I think 
you might be able to help me right here. Mm. Hi, auntie, uncle. Call them kuya or ate if it's a girl. Pabili po ng and then your order. So one is isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat, lima. Okay. Yes. I got a new friend actually. This is Kuya J, the one who has been sending us around for the past two days. So I'm taking the orders for everybody now. Jay, what do you like to eat? I uh, like bagnet silo. Bagnet silo. Lemonade. Blue lemonade, is it? Is it blue lemonade? <laughs> blue lemonade. Long silo. Long silo. Yeah. Uh, with coffee. Coffee. Hot silo. Coffee. I want a mango shake. Oh! Mango shake, sure. I want. Then I think, thank you. So, what is isang bang silo? Bang silo. And scramble. What must add, add extra? I don't know how to say scramble. Okay, I want. Don't extra scramble anything. Bang net silo. Scramble. Angry little. I mean, angry little ever. Oh, sorry, sorry. One star. Kuya, pabili po ng bagnet silok, isang long silok, bang silok, hot silok, tap silok, dawalang scramble, blue lemonade, tatlong coffee, mango shake. Walang mango shake. Walang one dish. Uh, oh. no, we don't have. Okay, it's okay. How do you think he's doing? He's very fine. He's doing very bad. He's doing really, really bad. Kung gigradean mo, 1 to 100, anong grade? 1 to 100. If you don't get above 70, right, the checklist cannot be checked off. 1 to 100. 80. <laughs> <laughs> I have managed to do it! Don't! Oh, man, no, don't! Wait, 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 Oh wow, it's oh, like stuck on your shirt. Oh, I love the thing. Richard is holding it. Oh my god. Okay, it is the end of day two and I feel that I am still on track in completing the $100 Nomad Challenge because so far, my expenses seem to be on point. I was able to complete at least one thing off the checklist for the challenges which was to order food for the entire crew in Tagalog. Although like, I did not manage to complete two of the challenges which I intended to, but I'm determined to actually try surfing tomorrow morning and go back to the same beach again. And a lot of things are gonna await you guys, so let me just chill in peace for once. <laughs> Right now I'm at Putaki Beach trying to attempt my surfing challenge but unfortunately the tide is a little bit too low at this point in time for me to do it. But not to worry, I heard that there's this inflatable park mentioned by our driver Jay. The inflatable park recently gone really really viral apparently so I'm gonna check it out while waiting for the tide to come up. Not all is lost, let's go to the inflatable park! one of the checklists of the challenges which is to do something that I never dare to do that is to be launched not just anywhere but in deep water my hands are like sweaty <laughs> <I'm nervous. laughs> no! The countdown was intense. <laughs> when I flew, I saw my feet. Charlie's like, boom, 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 boom. Steak with two peas. Uh, burger steak with two peas. Okay, 
Okay, so we're about done with lunch, a little bit over budget because this was 116 pesos. In the morning, I spent about 68 pesos for breakfast, and then the inflatable park was actually 599 peso. So this is my last day here, right? So far, I have about 800 pesos left for the rest of today's activities, which I think is pretty in okay budget. Uh, the, the thing is, I'm a little bit worried now because we are supposed to go surfing but the weather is looking a little bit gloomy, it's, very, it's like drizzling outside. Hopefully I get to accomplish this challenge. The fear is just too much. Now we are finally starting the surfing lesson. I'm going to try it out first. Test water before our dear Zin go in. <laughs> be like a loser and a party pooper so I'm just gonna give it a go. You got right. this, you got this Paul. So I just tried surfing way harder than I had thought when I set a challenge so I'm gonna make your, your checklist challenge easier. You just stand two seconds can already. They look like drowned before so I'm just afraid of drowning and the waves because when I see it I get very like my entire body just different up. <laughs> oh, it's, it's happening. You can do it. Two seconds. Two seconds all you need. Oh my heart. Oh. Now I want to rise up to the occasion and do the challenge. But... Oh, I see. <laughs> I feel like a loser for being afraid of big waves. Whoa! Alright! Oh, no, that expected! From scared to surf and go into the water to... One more, one more, one more! <laughs> I feel so proud. I feel like... Like a dad. Yeah, it really warms my heart. Yeah! Approved! <laughs> okay, good job. Next list challenge complete. Yeah! <laughs> oh, hi, this is great. <laughs> 99 because uh, he's a... Uh, First time only. How do you feel? I feel super happy. Like I was afraid at first. I was so like stressed out. I didn't know that I was be, I was gonna be able to stand on this. I'm not feel bad. I think today turned out like much better than we expected. Finally on the last day we overcome everything. So I completed my challenge and it cost me 400 pesos, which is like the most happiest peso I'm willing to give. Thank you for your number four. I have about 400 pesos left, so I'm gonna see what else I can do here in Zambale. But for now, I'm gonna shower and get ready because I'm so happy. <laughs> you know, Dad, then I, I can, I can, yeah, I can surf now, Dad. Um, thank you for all the encouragement. Oh my God, the videographer is so forgiving us. Oh my God. I am so proud of you, son. <laughs> So right now I'm at Subic City and the thing is, it is so different from what I've experienced for the past few days because there's so many people, there's so many cars, I'm so hungry, so let's go! Okay, I have no idea what this stall is, but Julian said that it's really really good that I must try. So I'm gonna leave it up to Julian to choose for me. It looks very gross. <laughs> Give him too much money. Everything is like so affordable. Probably for nang koto apat. So I decided to buy four goto for all of the crew. That was 140 pesos. And after a long day, especially today in the sun, right? This is like very comforting because it feels like home, but it's not home. And it's still cool, but not exactly. So let the crew eat, okay? Bye. 
It is the end of my adventure here in Zambales and initially I didn't even know where Zambales was like to be honest but after three days two nights here I began to really love this place for a few reasons. The people here are so amazing. There's so many activities for you to actually do here. I mean on one end I can be hiking up an island to a lighthouse and on the other end I could be having a lot of fun at the inflatable island. I mean, three days, two nights is definitely not enough for me. Staying on the $100 budget was not that difficult because the accommodation was really affordable but most of my activities took the bulk of the budget which I think was fine because the activities were all really fun. So at the end of my three days, two nights, I'm actually left with 98 pesos and also I managed to complete four out of five challenges. There is definitely something for everyone here in Zambales but for now that's it from me to catch more of our adventures follow hashtag the hundred dollar nomad and hashtag KSL goes Zambales on Instagram. We will see you in the next episode of the hundred dollar nomad. Bye! Yeah. <laughs>